guys, welcome back to SWS Boxing. Today I've got Tony Marshall on. He is a boxing trainer, coach, would you say? Yep. Yeah, trainer, coach, and he, he trains f three professional boxers and he, quite a few amateur boxers. Um, yep. the, pro, the pro boxers he trains is Vicky Wilkinson, um, Ethan Collins... Yeah, and, and Mark Simmons. Yes. So which one? Should we talk about Vicky first? Yeah. I've seen that she's got um a Midlands title fight against Becky Fer Ferguson. She's fighting her again. Yeah. What, what, well, she was supposed she she was supposed to fight for the com she fought for the Commonwealth about eight weeks ago. Uh which most people in the in the room at the time even the referee was, I think, was a bit disgusted with the, the result because we scored it 98 to 92 in Vicky's favour. And the other and two, two George, draws. scored it 95 uh, two draws. Yeah. So it, it's still it's still vacant, but we're supposed to be fighting her this week that on on the on that show on the 13th, which is she's become ill, and she's had to pull out. So oh. instead, uh, so we the, there's. Uh, the Midland title has become well. They've made a Midland title up because there's quite a few women out there now, and it'll start the ball rolling and uh, yeah. hopefully get more get more women into it. Why so Becky it Ferguson? If she's got a losing record. Oh, that it's the name. It's the name. What was put forward? Oh, they, well, they asked her. That's what you have to go she, through if she she needs that title. Yeah, and so she they, they asked her, she, and she jumped to the chance. It, it's a ten round fight, so maybe Vicky will get her out of there this time. Hopefully, well, she's she's beat her twice before. Yeah, I know. I've six. seen them. But yeah. I, I I was looking for Liam Liam Bush or somebody like that. To be quite honest, or but Christine the, Becky Hill. Becky comes to mind. So we. We'll take what's on offer. Yeah. What about Christy Hill? Her name hasn't been mentioned, so if it, if it had been, we'd have took it. Perhaps she hasn't done a six rounder yet. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Want to Vicky, Vicky, so, uh, Vicky beat Liam Bush on her own show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that that was a good fight, though. I would like to see that again. Yeah. It, well. I I I prefer it to have a ten rounds, but it'll be a very good. It was a it was a good fight, very good fight. Well, the Commonwealth fight was good, good with uh, Sir Goldlog, but uh, no obviously... way that was a draw, mate. I think Vicky won it by three rounds, well, two rounds. It, quite easy, but it is what it is. You you don't know, argue, you just get on with it. I mean, get it, back was, to the it is. Um, it was in Sheer Gold's hometown. Yeah, like she but was whether, from. Well, we went down there a couple of days before, done a bit of training, weight, got the weight, got the weight right, uh, and, 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 and everything was sorted. And we, we just went out and Vicky just went and done her stuff. And I thought she won quite clearly. So were well, you a bit been... upset when you got back to the changing room? As, like... I, 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 I was a bit devastated because I, I knew she'd won. And, and Vicky, Vicky knew she'd won. And I think Shergold knew she'd won as well. Yeah. So you know, and everybody, everybody who watched it said she she was robbed on you know live on, uh, BC, BB, uh, BCB. Yeah, they stream know, it, so I was watching it on there. Yeah, they screamed it, and they, you know, even they said, but yeah. it is what it is. We just got to move on, move forward. On Vicky's box wreck, it says she's got a fight lined up in America. Yeah, for the IBA. Hopefully, if if he cut it, to, he's supposed to end. He's supposed to come off in uh, July, I think, like this year. But he so, never. He, he just evaporated. Is that is that a world title then? Well, it's it's one of their world titles in it in in America. You yeah. know, but uh, we'll take whatever's on offer. A world title is a world title in it. But your main I mean, focus is on Becky. At the minute. Yeah, get Becky, get Becky out of the way, and hopefully, we can we we want the Commonwealth more so than anything, because it, yeah. it's more, 
it's more established in it. Like, you know, it's a bigger belt, it's a better belt, and it, it opens the door. It opens the doors for whatever. It's been. You know what I mean? I've been hearing stuff that Sheer Gold might be fighting um, Rihanna Dixon. I think yeah. You know, so when she's when she's better, I, I think it'll be sometime in just, just before Christmas, December. Uh, December the third, I think. Maybe. But what 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 she's gone for that? I don't I don't know. I don't know. She she could have just gone straight for the Commonwealth again. Against Vicky. Yeah. What? Should... I don't I don't I don't know. How don't long know have what... you been training Vicky for? Uh. Oh, ever since she come back out out to the well, she come she she boxed she boxed for the Lions, uh, and she 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 was she was having a tattoo to be quite honest off this mate of mine, and uh, he said he knew a, a coach which was me, and uh, he gave her a, he gave her my number, and then she found me. It's been about eight nine years, I bet something like that. It might be a bit shorter than that. But yeah. anyway, she gave me a phone call. I told her to come down. And as soon as she come down, we eat it off. The training was good. The the bad work was good. And we just, we got out, we got on really well, like house on fire. It was really, really good. The partnership we got is very, very good. We argue, don't get me wrong. <laughs> and she can, she can be a bit of a stickler sometimes. Like, I feel like giving her a left up. But I <laughs> better not. Because she'll give me two back. <laughs> but now she she's uh, we got a good relationship, very good. Uh, she won she won the development championships, then she decided to go pro. Oh, she's so been training her since amateurs. Yeah, but I had I got me I had my professional license many years about twenty years back, and I, I just got I just got a bit disillusioned with the pro game, so I come out of it and went I stayed I stayed with the amateurs quite for quite a while. Then Vicky wanted to go pro. Ethan wanted to go pro, and uh, I said I took him down to see a promoter like with Errol Johnson, and I said yeah. there you go. And they went now we, we we'll we'll be promoted by him, but we want you to train us. So I said no at the beginning, but then I went and got my professional license back after okay. about eighteen years, something like that. What fight and, do you think Vicky's performed her best in? Because in my eyes, it's that. Commonwealth title fight that she's performed her best in. I think it was that one and Leanne Bush. Yeah. You know, but I think I th- I, th- I think she was a bit wary about the ten round, ten rounds. But like I, now, now she's done them, I don't think we'll have a problem. You know what That's I mean? Good. But you know, I, you can't write you can't write Becky off. She's a, she's a tough girl, very yeah. very tough, and she'll you know. To stop her, you're like you do. You got to do something special because she's a very good, tough girl. Am I right in saying she's she'll not come. been stopped? Nah, she'll come. She'll come to. She'll come to fight. Yeah, especially I'm when sure there's a title will. on the line as well. Well, she you know should I mean? do because it's a, her biggest fight of her career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. We, we're we're excited. Up... We... Is, that, is there a, how much are the tickets um for Vicky's fight? For forty and seventy five. 75's like ringside, yeah? Yeah, with, with meal, with a, with food. Is that the um, hangar, is it? Yeah. In War- well, it, it is, it is, it's Wolverhampton, which War- Vicky, Becky, uh, Vicky's a, a Wolverhampton girl. So, well, where's Becky well, from? Is she from Wolverhampton? No, she, she was brief, but she lives in Stoke-on-Trent now, just up the road from where she trains with uh, Scott. Because they've sparred together quite a quite a few times. Who Vicky well. and, and they're, Becky? They're, yeah, they they know each other inside out, but it, it'll still be an odd fight. Should be a I, good I, should be a good tear I, I, up then. Yeah, I I don't ride Becky off because she's tough. Yeah, you, you can't fight I mean? off anyone. No, one punch, one punch can do, change, change the whole fight. Yeah, you know what I mean. Any she, up, is there any updates on um Ethan? He'll be boxing probably January because his wife had a baby. His his, his girlfriend had another baby, oh. and uh, he, t- he took a bit of time out. Yeah, but uh, he's he's back in the gym, same as Marco. He's back in the gym. They've got to drop a bit of weight. But once the weight's off, we'll start looking. Ma- are they gonna? 
push for titles next year, or are you just trying to, you know, get them fights? So they're well, I'll, 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 I'll just, I'll just try and if the fights are right, we'll take them. You know what I mean? But I, I ain't gonna push them too, too much. Them, them young, they got, they got plenty of time. You know what I mean? They can build, they can build a good, you know. So why have you pushed Vicky um so like quickly? Well, it's a woman. It, 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 it's women's boxing. There's not many out there, and plus, uh, uh, her age, her age. She, she, you know, she ain't got long left. And I just wanted to get so her. She just wants to move quickly and get these times. Move as quick as, and get and get as what, what whatever she can. Yeah. Before yeah. she retires, because yeah. she's a, she's an actual coach in the gym with us. She, oh, uh, she has, yeah, she couches with the kids, and oh, and some of the pros. Oh well, some some of the adults. Yeah. So any amateurs that you've got that we could be turning pro in the next few years? Any amateurs that I should look uh, out for? There's a there's a lad called Ben Collins. He's just come to us. Uh, he, he's a good, quite a good lad. But he he's only just gone not eighteen, so it's going to be a, a year or so, two years maybe. And what do, do you think get, he would be? I've, well, he's a he's an eighty kilo lad, and he if he, he had a he had his first fight for us on our show last Sunday because we had a we had a bit of a, a, a quite a big, big good show on Sunday. Did he, he get gone. the win? Yeah, but we Was got we got points? some up on, Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good, good. He fought a, he fought a good tough lad, like well, they they was all tough, you know. I, I don't put a show on to win to win every fight because if you do that, you know, don't get me wrong, it'd be nice, but if you do that, they say, "Oh, it's all one sided," you know. Then, then the people, the supporters, don't want to come again. You know what I mean? The fight was 50 fifty fifty. You know what I mean? We got we got some good we got some good little talent. We got Tyler Humphries, we got uh, Browdy, we've had uh, two new young lads come. They started this season. One had his first fight. One had his second fight for us. We we got a, uh, a couple of girls out Friday night. Oh, who's Birmingham. fighting Friday? The uh, little Sophie and Millie. Yeah. So Millie's having a first girls bout, and Sophie's having a third. Them. Good luck oh, to thank them. Thank you. It's a, it's all about learning. You know what I mean? Once, once I get to, once I get the grips of it, of walking out, because it, 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 it's, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit frightening walking out and getting in that ring on your own. You know what I mean? Especially for the young girls, well, young lads even. You know what I mean? But like, w- once they get there and they have a taste of it, 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 it's hard to go back. You know what I mean? It's really hard. I love it. I, I mean, I'm, I've loved it all my life. Did you, you want to be mean? a pro boxer? Yeah, yeah. Why did you I go pro? I found me medical on my eyesight. Oh. So I, wear con- I wear contacts. Well, saying that, when I went to go pro, it was in the 80s. Uh, my eyesight wasn't up to the British Boxing Board of Control standard. Yeah. And I, I argued with them. I went and seen a ophthalmic optician. They, they said that I was okay. I, there was nothing wrong with my eyes. It was just being short-sighted. I argued it out with the Boxing Board of Control. How far have I got to see before, you know, the, I've only got to see the length of my arm because the box, my opponent is going to be there. He ain't going to be three miles up the road. You know what I mean? Exactly. But anyway, we we, are, we argued backwards and forwards and in the end I just said they, they wouldn't give it me so that was it. Then I went and got my professional licence as, as a coach and a manager, but I let the manager slip. And so, how long let, have you been um, a coach for? Uh, since I finished boxing, about 1992. But I've done all, all my uh, IBA coaching badges while I was boxing, while I was still boxing. Oh, OK. Who's your, like, favourite boxer to train? What do you mean? Like, who, who I'd love to. Who like what fighters your dream to like train? I don't know. You, you, you can't really say, can you? you uh, I think. I don't know. 
my, my favourite boxer out of everybody is Marvin Agler. You know what I mean? Yeah. But to, to have somebody like walk that like that walk in your door is going to be very few, very few and far between. You know what I mean? But like Ethan, uh, Marco, they're, they're very good kids. They're very good lads. Even so Vicky. Marco you know, trying to get out in January as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So what was yeah. being wrong with Marco? Is he injured? No, he just he, he had a fight. Then he 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 had to change his job and he had to go on to nights. And he, he found it really hard to train. But now he's gone back on today's into a new job. He, oh. he he's back he's back on the scene. So That's he'll fair. be back he'll be back did, in January. Didn't Marco fight like in I think it was March now? Yeah, it's been quite a while. I forgot who we fought. Did he fight? Was it Matt Hall? Cummings. 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 Yeah. yeah. Cummings is one tough man. Mate. <laughs> you you look at him and you think, I'll oh, blow him over. But well, he's so, so tough. Uh, you know, they've got to be. They're, they're good. Then, then uh, you don't fight them people in the streets because, uh, you know, honest to God, they're very tough. It's like, well, the rest of them. You know what I mean? The rest of it, like Kevin McCauley, look at him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Look how many fights he had. He's such a tough man. You know what I mean? They're all they're all the same. They're very very tough, and it, it, it's them. If it were for them, there'd be no boxing. Mm. You know what I mean, they keep boxing alive in the Midlands. Well, all over. Yeah, they do. They, they, they travel all the left and breadth of the country. You know what I mean? Yeah. And if it were for people like them, there'd be no boxing. Is Vicky the main event again? I, I presume she will be. He doesn't. He didn't say on the poster because. It was scheduled for a Commonwealth title, but the posters just says, uh, well, there's about, I don't know, they're four or five on, and they're, they're just in a line. Because I, I, I thought they'd have edited, edited it with Vicky and uh, Sheer Gold, but obviously they didn't. But that, whether a new poster comes out this week saying, you know, Becky Ferguson, Vicky Wilkinson, Fighting for the vacant Midlands title. It's, whether it's he comes out, I don't know. On Sunday, isn't it? Next like week on Sunday, yeah. It'd be a good night of boxing on a Sunday because not often there's boxing on a Sunday. Not often. No. no we, we had our show on a, the first first amateur show I put on on a Sunday afternoon in the local local uh, banqueting suite down in Bilston. And I'll tell you, so it was a sellout. It was absolutely rammed for an afternoon for amateur boxing. I've never seen so many people in there. And there, there was some good fights on. It was a good afternoon. That, that's good, lovely. mate. Are yeah, you going to try and be like good. a promoter? Pardon? In in a couple of years, would you be a promoter yourself? I, I don't know. I've been a man. I've been a manager, uh, but he, he just it's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of hard work. You know what I mean? Plus, I, I hold, I hold a, a job down. I work three nights a week. I drive through the night. And yeah. I've, come, I've come out today. I've come out this morning, gone straight out for a quick run, come back, and now I'm talking to you. Yeah. And once I've, once I've finished with you, I'll have, a, I'll have a cup of tea, bite to eat, and get my head down for a couple of hours because I've got the gym. I'll tell you, I've got the gym at uh, five tonight. Oh, so are you training pros or amateurs later? Uh, a bit of both. If, so if Ethan can get down, if Ethan can get down, I'll try. I'll, I'll do him. But it's one or two of the amateurs. Fair so, enough, mate. You seem very busy, and I, I'll let you I'm go now. Busy. But I'll let you problem. go now. But thank you for your time. No problem. Anytime. Cheers, Cheers mate. Keep working hard.